Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab, and like Hermes the Parcel Courier, Pretty Girls Klondike Solitaire on the PS4 has simply not delivered. Anyone that's even been near a computer in the last 30 years has played Solitaire. It's a classic time sink of a game. Well, East Asia Soft, who were guilty of releasing Hentai vs Anime, which I've covered in a previous video, thought it would be worth putting Solitaire on the PS4 for only £5, and they're giving you a couple of reasons to buy it. However, they're also giving you many more reasons to save your money. So obviously, well stacked Anime Girls is the bait this game is using to pull you in, and I'll get to that in a moment but I first want to get right into the core gameplay it's solitaire how do you mess that up easy just force the player to use this fucking crosshair designed by someone who's never even seen a dual shot controller before when the whole world has been playing solitaire with a pinpoint precision mouse for decades asking people to now control the game with a thumbstick controlled crosshair that moves about two miles an hour is ridiculous trying to grab this tiny sliver of a card with this wanky Atari 2600 looking piece of shit is the worst thing to happen since the Americans went on holiday to Hiroshima. The most idiotic thing about this is that the DualShock pad has the perfect controlling solution for this game built into it. The fucking touchpad was pretty much designed for this sort of situation. How did the developers miss this? It's right there. Seriously, I can't get over how unbelievably stupid you have to be to make a crosshair driven solitaire game for the PS4 and totally ignore the perfect device to control it with. What were they thinking? Let's move on to the other important area, Anime Girls. You can get Solitaire for free on your phone. So why is anyone paying £5 to have this on their PS4? Obviously, the answer is the Anime Girls plastered all over this game. But specifically, the answer lies in this game's promotional material. Because when you see the footage of the girls' clothing changing as the light bar lowers down, your mind goes just to one place. <laughs> Now I'm not going to judge here, if you're looking for naked Japanese anime girls, that's up to you. But what I can tell you is you're not going to find them here. Although this is probably down to censorship, Sony having a shit fit if anyone even thinks about a nipple. This game does heavily imply clothes being removed though. But there is more chance of seeing Pokemon on the PS4 than bare naked ladies, and that is certainly true here. But this game does it in such a way that you think you're about to see some flesh, and then you just get digitally cockbarked. Take this scene for example. We have this well endowed girl in her school uniform and when the line comes along to make you believe this game is about to start removing clothes it reveals that under her exposed neckline she was wearing a turtleneck sweater all along how on earth does that even work another girl somehow has her gym clothes under her school uniform so if you come into this game in the hope of hentai you're totally out of luck but just to make it absolutely crystal clear i don't think you're ever gonna see any naughty pictures in any game sony puts out in the west they simply just do not allow it but if you're here just for a game of solitaire what you can expect is this each difficulty mode appears to be a random shuffle of the deck easy mode lets you draw just one card and gives you a few power-ups a hint a reshuffle mid game and to expose one card from anywhere on the playing field. The medium difficulty takes away the power-ups and changes it to draw three cards. I have no idea what difference the hard mode does because I didn't even see one. It didn't seem to play any different to the medium mode difficulty. Outside of an extremely easy to earn platinum trophy, I don't see the point in this. If you wanted to see hentai girls, you already have the internet. If you wanted to play solitaire, you can already get it for free on your phone and it will control a lot better than this one. If if the control scheme was fixed to enable the touchpad, then I guess you could have this game as some sort of time sink while you wait for friends to come online. If you're looking at this and not on your phone, you wouldn't miss any PSN message prompts. The only good thing I can see here is that unlike the previous East Asia soft game I played, Hentai vs Evil, at least this is not a shameless asset flip. It may not be very good, in fact it's fucking dreadful, but at least someone tried and that's a start. Thanks for watching guys, a like, subscribe and comment are very much appreciated. Plus, if you like what you saw, here are some links on the screen now to some of my other videos that I've made that you might like.